Friends, welcome to our homestead. I'm going to talk about something today that every single homesteader needs on every homestead, in every situation, through every experience. And not many people have that nowadays. Let's talk about it. This has been on my mind to talk to you about for a while. And since I'm stuck down here in this hole because I just sliced through a water line with an excavator, it came to my mind and it's a perfect time to talk about it. So it can be extremely frustrating to do things like this. And this kind of thing happens all the time. Maybe it's just me, but I think it happens to pretty much everybody. So this is about the fourth water line that I've cut on our property, including the main line to our house when I was putting in our solar system a few years back when I was digging the, uh, the pilings for the racking system. And that can get frustrating and stressful. And one way I alleviate that for me is to have extra repair items on hand, no matter if it's for electrical or extra lumber to build something or fix something or especially plumbing. But here's the one thing that's really important to have, and it is severely lacking in today's society, and that is pure, sheer will. No matter what happens, trying to overcome the situation, no matter what. That is so hard to find nowadays. That's so hard for people to mentally process. I see so many fragile people out there. It's really sad, and that needs to be overcome. And for homesteading, you are out here most of the time, mostly by yourself. And if something goes wrong, you've got to focus. You've got to fix it. You have to overcome that situation with just pure will, your skills, your knowledge, and apply them to whatever it is that you're working on. Now, I know that's hard because I'm going to come clean with you. This has been the worst year, hands down, on this homestead so far for things going wrong, things breaking, the garden, everything has been completely devastated out here this year. I'm still smiling. I'm still moving forward. I have a strong will and I will keep pushing forth or pushing forward through everything. It does not matter. You have to keep going. So if you're a first time homesteader and you haven't been out on your homestead for very long, I'm gonna tell you, you need to prepare yourself mentally for things that are just going to go awry all over the place, maybe even at the same time. And none of us can predict something that would break or some financial situation that comes upon you or you know half your house caving in. Nobody has any idea what's going to happen to them. We can't predict the future. So getting through those situations with just true grit, pure, sheer will is so important. You know, I've been out here for seven years. I grew up on a homestead, lived in the city for a while. I came back to my roots and things have not gone very easily for me at all. Sometimes they have. Sometimes it's been smooth sailing. But I know every time that I have a period of time where everything's working perfect and nothing's going wrong, something's going to come up. The younger generation today is just not prepared for that. They don't know how to handle it. So if you're younger and you're watching this, you probably have a different mindset. And I want to congratulate you on that mindset. But don't waver. It's going to get hard. It's probably going to get nasty at a few instances, and you just got to hang on. So the reason I'm telling you the things that we go through, too, is to give you encouragement. Because honestly, guys, everybody goes through similar things. I don't want you to feel like you are alone out there and nobody knows what you're going through if you're having issues on your homestead. Because we do. Trust me. And then coupled with those things are going to be life events, like my grandmother passed away this year. So, you know, things like that hurt, and you just, you got to get through them. So I'm going to mention a few things that have happened in hopes that it maybe helps you out. If you know our garden strategy from years ago, we had a ton of gophers here, and we buried some hardware cloth around the garden about two feet down, and it lasted for six years. And then finally, it rusted out, apparently, 
and the gophers got through. So now they're in the garden. And that's devastating because they have been eating things in there. So when your food situation for your family gets interrupted, that's a big deal, and that can really throw you off. Also, water. Obviously, all of us need water. Luckily, we do not drink out of this particular well here. We have a community well that serves about 300 houses in the area, but I know someday that's not going to be available to me. So that's why I've got the rainwater. That's why I've got this well. That's why I'm working hard now to get this rainwater completely hooked up because we've got to bypass this well to serve the rest of the irrigation and get that salt out of the soil. We've had a lot of equipment break. The transmission on my truck is going. There are just a lot of things that pop up, including the death of some animals that uh, we hadn't anticipated. They're just kind of out of the blue. And these animals are, some of them are pets. And I don't usually get attached to animals. Um, one of them I did, which is weird. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age, I don't know. And then additionally, we've wasted a little money. And I hate wasting money because it's finite. And we've wasted them on things that didn't work and I couldn't return or things that were incorrect that I didn't pay close enough attention to. And that's my fault. But that can throw a lot of people off. And you're just going to have to mentally get through that and move forward. But regardless of all those things, I am blessed and I'm so thankful to God for bringing us out here. It's way less stressful for all of us living out in this type of situation than it was for us in the city with crazy careers and all of that stuff. And when I mean stuff, I mean being tied down to things, being in debt and tied down uh, to toys that you don't need to keep up with the Joneses. It's funny, I need to tell you about something. On YouTube, you can mention somebody in a video. You can do a hashtag to a channel. And I was mentioned in a video. It doesn't have very many views. It's funny. It looks like it's from South Korea, maybe. And it's in English. And it talks about people who move out to the country being less happy. And they're talking about some study that shows that people who live in the city and work are way happier than those who are out in the countryside and maybe being a little bit more self-sufficient. I think this uh, study, and like I said, it doesn't have very many views, this study is completely off the planet and uh, it is completely the opposite. I am so much happier out here, and I don't know why they mentioned me. I am so much happier out here than I ever was living in the city without owning a car, actually, Washington, D.C., and uh, walking to work every day. It was incredibly stressful, and so was my career. And as you can see, I'm pretty much always smiling. But, you know, when things go wrong, there's a little bit of a frown on my face. I'm not going to lie. I'm human like everybody else, and it gets me. But I persevere and get through it. So strengthen that will that you have to overcome things, because you're going to need it. And if you're young and you're listening to this, Hey, you are way ahead of your peers because you're already on a journey to more happiness, but you're on a journey to strengthening your mind and getting through things that many can't nowadays. All right, I hope you have a blessed day. Go check out these videos right here, which is our full playlist on putting in our rainwater tanks. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.